Intestinal Parasites The most common parasites found in the intestinal tracts of dogs and cats are hookworms and roundworms. An understanding of these parasites is crucial as parasites can be transmitted from your pet to you and your family. Dogs and cats of any age can become infected with hookworms and roundworms, but young kittens or puppies are the most susceptible. In fact, the majority of puppies and kittens are born with roundworms that they acquired from their mothers before birth or shortly thereafter from their mother's milk. Puppies as young as two weeks of age can carry a dangerous number of hookworms and or roundworms in their intestines. The life cycle of a roundworm begins when your pet comes into contact with feces contaminated with roundworm eggs in the environment. When your pet licks their paws or fur, they swallow the infective eggs. Roundworm infections are also acquired if your pet eats an animal such as a rodent whose tissues contain the insisted roundworm larva. Once the eggs are swallowed, they hatch into the larval stage in the gastrointestinal tract. The larvae then penetrate the lining of the intestines to fully mature, then re-enter the intestine to feed and reproduce. Some of the larvae will migrate away from the intestinal tract to the liver, lungs, kidneys, and other tissues and become encapsulated by the body. These larvae often remain dormant in these tissues. The adult female worms, which mature in the small intestine, are capable of laying thousands of eggs. These eggs pass into the environment through your pet's feces to begin the life cycle again. Roundworms commonly cause vomiting, loss of appetite, distended abdomens, weight loss, and dull, rough hair coats. If humans, especially children, come in contact with feces contaminated with roundworm eggs, the migrating larva can cause serious disease. This condition, known as visceral larval migraines, or wandering worms, can cause fever, liver and lung problems, and loss of vision if the larvae migrate to the eye. The life cycle of hookworms begins when your pet comes into contact with infective hookworm larvae in the environment. Hookworms can enter the body through ingestion, as with roundworms, or they can enter the body through the skin. Once inside the body, the larvae migrate through the tissues to arrive in the small intestine to mature into adults. Attaching themselves to the intestinal lining, adult hookworms suck blood from their host's body. The adult female hookworm may lay up to 20,000 eggs a day in the host animal's intestine. These eggs then pass into the environment in your pet's feces. When excreted from the body, the eggs quickly hatch and become infective larvae to begin the cycle again. Hookworms commonly cause vomiting, loss of appetite, distended abdomens, weight loss, and they can also cause anemia due to blood loss with heavy infections. Hookworm infection in people can cause cutaneous larval migraines resulting in severe skin reactions. Both hookworms and roundworms are diagnosed by microscopic examination of the feces to identify the parasite eggs. It is not common to see these parasites in your pet's stool without a microscope. Whipworms, while rare in the cat, are another common intestinal parasite of the dog. Dogs acquire whipworms after ingesting an infective egg in the environment. Once mature, these parasites attach to the wall of the large intestine to feed. In mild infections, no clinical signs are seen. However, in large numbers, whipworms create inflammation in the large intestine, resulting in diarrhea and weight loss. Whipworm infections can be difficult to control because the eggs are difficult to eliminate and persist in the environment for extended periods of time. Treatment usually requires multiple treatments to resolve the infection. Dogs and cats can also become infected with tapeworms. One type, Dipolidium, requires the ingestion of a flea containing an infective stage of a tapeworm. The swallowed flea is digested and releases the tapeworm larva that migrates to the intestine of the dog or cat. As the larva becomes an adult, it begins forming segments that are released over time and carry infective eggs into the feces. When released, these segments are similar in appearance to a grain of rice. 
They can often be seen moving in the feces or on the hair around the hindquarters of the dog or cat. Other tapeworms can infect your pets. These tapeworms, commonly called tenia, are acquired through hunting behavior. When your pet eats an animal infected with an infective stage of the tapeworm, the infection is passed on. Dogs and cats that actively hunt may transmit a tapeworm to people that can cause serious illness. If your pet is a hunter, be sure to notify your veterinarian so that a preventive program can be discussed. All tapeworms are easily treated by your veterinarian. Annual exams of your pet's feces by your veterinarian will ensure your pet remains free of intestinal parasites. Based on your pet's lifestyle, your veterinary professional will discuss a parasite control program with you, an important safety precaution for both your pet and your family's health.